Alright, I did this for BDO, we're going to do it again for Throne and Liberty, we're going to keep it short and sweet. Increase your FPS, lower your latency. Go to your notifications, type in settings. Type in notifications, make sure that's off. Type in game, game mode, off. Game bar, off. Go to your power settings, power and sleep. It might have it here, if it doesn't, go to additional power settings. Go here, you want to choose high performance. If it's not here, it'll probably be in this hide additional, show additional section. Tick it there. Next. NVIDIA control panel. If you're on NVIDIA, if you're on AMD, go look at a different guide for it. It'll have similar settings. For NVIDIA, go manage 3D settings. Program settings. Look for TL in this list. If it's not in that list, go to add. Browse the TL. In the Throne Liberty section, go to the TL folder, binaries, win64, there's your exe there, tl.exe. Once we're in here, we want to go down, low latency mode, you can leave it as on, you can also turn that up in game, but this forces it. Max frame rate, I like to keep this at the refresh rate of the monitor, 144 in my case. Go down, power management mode, maximum performance. V-Sync, make sure this is off, unless you want it on, I suggest turning it off, click apply. Alright, grab Steam, what we're going to do is go to the properties here, we're going to add a couple of uh, launch options there, I'll paste it in the description. Basically use available cores for your CPU, high is for high priority, giving your resources to the game. TCP is for your TCP connections, it forces the game to use TCP instead of UDP, uh, which is generally a quicker protocol. Uh, while we're here, we'll go to exit lag. Now in exit lag, you've obviously got your routes. Yours might look a bit different from mine, depends on the version you've got. Uh, but go to tools, go to general or find general settings somewhere. Make sure you turn real-time optimization on uh, in FPS boost. You can disable energy efficient ethernet, disable game bar and game DVR. Alright, for the next part, this one's actually for your ping and a stable connection. This works for everything on your whole PC. Uh, we're going to go to speedguide.net or you can just google TCP optimizer like that and go to the first link. Uh, once you're here, download it from the top version here, TCP optimizer 4. Uh, you don't have to install this, you just run it. It's going to give you a file like this. When you run it, make sure you right click run as admin. Once it's open, click yes. Once it's open, just copy these settings here. I'm not going to go through each thing what they do. I'll leave this on screen for five more seconds. Pause it, copy these settings. After you're done with that, go to the advanced settings. Pause it, copy these settings. Once that's done, click apply changes down here. You're going to get this prompt. Click OK. Once it applies, it's going to tell you, do you want to do a reboot? It doesn't take effect until you do, so just reboot your computer. All right, let's do the graphics. So in game, go to settings. I'll tell you which ones you must do and which ones you can do what you want with. Uh, so the ones that you're going to want is ambient occlusion on high, screen space reflections on high, Shadow quality on high, now this is super important, if you put it on medium or low you actually lose frames and then obviously on epic you will lose a little bit, high it gives you the most FPS for this uh, setting for some reason. Uh, for pretty much everything else in this section you can put whatever you like, obviously epic's going to require more resources than low for everything else, uh, but ambient occlusion, screen space and uh, shadow quality, you want to leave those three on high. If we go down further, motion blur, it does dip your FPS a bit. You can leave the other three on if you want. Uh, I also hate motion blur, so I've turned it off. And uh, these ones here, make sure you've got use direct X12 on, optimize large scale combat on. And then the last thing to look at is vegetation quality. This has a pretty big impact on FPS. I've got it on Epic, it doesn't affect me too much, but if you're struggling a bit, turn that down. Just run the AMD fidelity effects, that's fine. Um, they're both similar enough that it doesn't matter. Uh, frame generation, if you've got a 40 series card, uh, then you can run that. I don't have one, I've got a 3080 in this, so I can't tick it. Uh, and reflex low latency, just leave that as on, but again, we have forced that in NVIDIA control panel.